In today's episode, you will learn how to make an electric port which can be controlled wirelessly using 433 MHz radio frequency transmitter and receiver modules using a computer application designed in Visual Basic. The complete circuit diagram, computer application and the Arduino transmitter and receiver programming can be downloaded from our website. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. As you can see clearly, the circuit diagram is very simple. Two edge bridges are used to control two DC motors. Both the edge bridges are exactly the same. The left side motor is controlled using the Arduino pin number 8 and pin number 9. While the right side motor is controlled using the Arduino pin number 2 and pin number 4. The VCC and ground pins of the receiver module are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground. While the data pin of the receiver module is connected with the Arduino pin number 11. While on the transmitter side only the Arduino and 433 MHz transmitter module is used. The data pin of the transmitter module is connected with Arduino pin number 12 while the VCC and ground pins of the transmitter module are connected with Arduino's 5 volt and ground. I checked the edge bridge connections using the Proteus simulation. This simulation can be downloaded from our website. All the connections are done as per the circuit diagram already explained. In this project, two programs are used. One program is written for the transmitter side Arduino and the other program is written for the receiver side Arduino. Let's first start with the transmitter side programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download the virtual wired library from our website. You can find link in the description. The transmitter module data pin is connected with the Arduino pin number 12. The white set of function consists of the same functions which I have already explained in my previous tutorial based on the 433 MHz radio frequency transmitter and receiver modules. In this tutorial, I have explained everything about how to use the radio frequency transmitter and receiver modules. In the white loop function, if serial dot available greater than zero, which means if the Arduino has received a command from the computer application, then simply read the serial port and store the received character and variable message. Convert this into a string and then convert this into an array of characters. Finally, this command is sent to the receiver module wirelessly. Now let's have a look at the receiver side programming. The receiver module data pin is connected with the Arduino pin number 11. The two edge bridges are controlled using the Arduino pin 8, 9, 2 and 4. In the wide loop function, the received character is stored in variable C and then using the F conditions, the left and right propellers are controlled accordingly. For the detailed explanation, you can read article available on www.electronicclinic.com. This is the computer application designed in Visual Basic. With the help of arrow keys, the left, right and forward movement of the electric board is controlled. When the up arrow key is pressed, the character L is sent to the receiver. When the left arrow key is pressed, the character A is sent. When the right arrow key is pressed, the character B is sent to the receiver and similarly, when the down arrow key is pressed, the character S is sent to the receiver. These instructions are used to set up the serial port. Make sure you select the right communication port and you select the same baud rate which you have used in the Arduino programming. Otherwise, the communication will not work. 
The computer application can be downloaded from our website, check link in the description. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.